Okay, folks, welcome to another quick little session here on uh, putting together some comparison scans and looking at data that can help you to analyze your target. Now, over here, I've just received several scans from a customer and who's wishing support. And I figure this customer asks other customers are also the same, so I'm going to give a little thing here on how I put it all together. I open up all of the scans individually, one at a time, and then I can review them throughout the system here. This is, I'm using system Windows 7, so it makes it a little bit easier to analyze some of the data, but otherwise I just open up the scans as you see here is one. And as you look through the scan here, you see some reds here, you'll see some blues here, but they're not connected, there's no real disturbance in the ground, and things like that. And what I mean from a disturbance in the ground is, if I take, for example, this here, now I see that there's a disturbance. This area right here says there's a disturbance, because the area is not normal, it's not... Um, it's not even. I come over here to the side and I'm going to minimize my difference in height. And as you see, there's a very strong signal right here. This is this yellow signal right here. Okay, coming back from the top view, that's what I'm looking at as my strong disturbance. So let's go take a look at some of these other ones that they put together. And this one, this is the first one, I don't see a disturbance. Coming over here, I have data. Um, but I have no disturbance here. There's there's nothing that is out of the ordinary. This is normal ground. Um, moving along the line here, I can look over here and say, well, I may have right here between this red spot and this blue spot a piece of ferrous um, metal, but I'd have to check it again, and that would be called doing a control scan. So I'd have to look at that. Uh, continuing on down the line, looking over here, this is just normal ground. The reason I say this is normal ground, it's not doing anything. There's nothing exciting here. I have this one spot here on the very edge. This is usually because of a stop or a turn right here. But if I turn it on its side and even taking care of this one edge, this edge is right here. But if I rotate this around to the other side, you'll see that all the values are pretty much sitting at the same level. They're not changing. So when they're all about the same level, you just say, well, that's not very interesting. Even though this one long piece is here, if I took away that piece by moving my uh, crosshairs over and hitting the fix in the crosshairs only, I'm still going to have about the same basic levels across the board. They're all going to be about the same. Nothing really changes. Nothing's really significant. It doesn't look like anything is extraordinary. Okay, moving along. I come over here. And again, I have a red over here. I have a blue over here. But I don't have any disturbances. Everything seems to be about the same. Nothing is really stronger than the other where it sticks out. And uh, moving on down the line here, you see there's just no disturbances. So send me the data, but also open up the data in multiple windows side by side where you can change over and look to see one to the other. You must use the same starting point to the same stopping point, the same amount of impulses going across. Folks, the rules haven't changed exactly as stated in the user's handbook it must be if you don't make multiple scans you cannot compare your data without being able to compare your data an answer can't be given and in regards to what a target looks like you'll have a disturbance here's your target here is the disturbance this is where it was buried okay i hope this helps some of you out look forward to hearing from you Thank you very much.